So this is the syllabus video, which outlines what we're going to do and how we're going to accomplish our tasks in this course. For better or worse, uh, you are the first class that is receiving the new um, common syllabus that will be put into place uh, across all of the courses, Newman courses come the fall. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, there's a table of contents, so hopefully that makes it easier for you to find out uh, whatever information it is that you want. Um, and I'll begin just with the basics. We are in Philosophy 102. Uh, this is Exploring Ethics, so it's an Introduction to Ethics course. Uh, first, the description. So what are we trying to do uh, in this course? We're trying to explore some fundamental ethical questions. And we're going to talk about uh, the frameworks that you can use to think through these questions. Different ethical theories, uh, and certainly we're going to stress the Catholic Franciscan approach. In this course, I frame the uh, ethical discussion in terms of one basic theme. And that theme is, how much time and energy should I spend on myself versus others? Should I spend all my time and energy on myself? Should I give all my time and energy to others? Or should I split it evenly? Is there some middle ground between uh, those extremes and some kind of variant? Uh, so that's what we're going to be exploring. Every discussion post, every reading, every video, uh, every class poll, every quiz, every short assignment, in one way or another is related to that basic question. That's something you always want to keep in mind. You know, I hope this helps because when you do the reading or when you watch a video, you've always got to be thinking in your back of your mind, what is this telling me about how much time and energy I should spend on myself? So you're not reading or watching aimlessly. Read or watch with this in mind. And that's going to help you pick out what is relevant and irrelevant uh, information. In terms of objectives, uh, there's quite a few uh, different objectives that, that Newman uses, uh, and you can read those uh, on the syllabus. But there's two big things that I want to get out of every class. Uh, number one is I want you to become more thoughtful. I don't care what you believe. I don't care if you're uh, you know, a hardcore liberal or a deep, devout conservative. I don't care whether you're atheist or you're religious. What I want you to do is I want you to think more deeply about your beliefs and why you believe what you believe. If you do that, uh, I'm, I'm happy. I think we've accomplished one of the key objectives in this course. The other big <clears throat> objective that I have for you is to create better arguments. This is a skill that will remain with you for the rest of your life. Uh, you're going to forget most of the content, most of the details of what you learn in this class, and what you learn in any class for that matter. But basic skills you can learn and, and you can use for the rest of your life. And this is the basic skill that can help you. Employers want it. They want people coming out of college able to write, and they fear and they complain that too often that doesn't happen. And if you can do this, if you can create a better argument, uh, you're going to be better off no matter what field you enter into. Because in whatever field you enter into, there's going to come a point where you've got to persuade others that your view is the right one. So we'll work quite a bit on this. Uh, in terms of the instructor, inter instructor interactions, um, the uh, interactions are, uh, you can certainly email me at any time. You can text me, 516-669-6055. Uh, I'm kind of in and out of the office uh, in the summer, so there's no kind of set schedule for office hours. But if you want to meet with me in person, I am happy to do so. Uh, my kids may be with me, but uh, I'm certainly happy to do so. Just email me. Um, please do so. Uh, we can also have a Sunday night or for that matter, uh, most any night conference call. If there is interest in that, let me know. Uh, we can all get together and we can all talk on the conference call and uh, learn more about the course. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the expectations, in terms of attendance, your attendance, it's an online course, uh, is discussion boards. There is no concurrent session, so there's no time that we all have to be online or on a call at the same time. Again, unless you want to do the call, but that would be voluntary. Uh, due dates in terms of assignments. Um, the assignments are due at the start of, uh, it'll be posted on and you learn. It'll be in your weekly emails. Uh, it's a 10 points off for each week it is late. And in this course, a week constitutes four days because we're an abbreviated summer session. 
Uh, in terms of student interactions uh, and your responsibility, uh, be diligent. Make sure you read. Uh, make sure you comment respectfully on the discussion board posts. I don't care if you agree or disagree with each other. And in fact, uh, if you disagree with someone, I encourage you to disagree. But do so in a respectful fashion. Uh, in terms of the structure of this course, so there's my wife and Sorry. youngest daughter, which is exciting. More uh, family um, uh, video appearances, which is always good. Uh, you don't have to apologize. It's exciting. So we have uh, the evaluation for the course. You're going to be graded on six components. <clears throat> your final grade consists of the average of your top five components, which means whatever is your lowest component drops. It doesn't count. It's not used against you. To put this in plain language, if you were pleased with your grade going into the final, uh, let's say you had a B going into the final and you say, I don't want to take the court, the final, you don't have to. You would get a zero, but that zero would drop. It would not lower your grade. So <clears throat> what are the components? First is discussion boards. Uh, four times a week, you've got a post. And again, a week is a four-day session because we are in the summer abbreviated course schedule. Um, one of the posts has to be a response, a direct response to one of the prompts. One of the posts has to be a direct response either to myself or one of your classmates. The other two responses can come from either category. So if you want to respond directly to one post and then respond to three, three times to three different classmates, be my guest. Uh, if you want to respond to me three times and post directly to one of the prompts, that's fine. For a post account, it has to be at least seven sentences long. And make them substantial, make them substantive. You know, I agree with George it does not count as a substantive sentence. So make sure you're really kind of going in there with depth. Make sure if you're agreeing or disagreeing, you're telling the person why. If you think the person had a great post, go into detail as to why you think that post was so good. <clears throat> okay, so discussion ports, uh, uh, the grade is ongoing. It will be updated each week. Uh, your quiz average, you're going to have four quizzes throughout the uh, semester. And uh, those quizzes will simply be averaged up. And whatever that average is, is your quiz average. Your short assignments, there's going to be two of them. Uh, throughout the normal um, uh, sessions. And these are uh, two pages, approximately two page uh, essays. Uh, they could also be video assignments, which are at least um, five minutes long. Um, these, these assignments, uh, the rubric and the grading, uh, is given in great detail with the Creating Better Arguments video and the Creating Better Arguments section of your reading packet. Make sure you watch that video and make sure you do that reading uh, because that's going to give you uh, quite a bit of structure in terms of what is expected, what constitutes a good argument, and uh, how you can get a good grade. Um, the midterm exam uh, that will be given halfway through the semester uh, will be online. The living ethics. So this is a part of the course which every single person should get 100 on. No questions asked. Um, you should really uh, excel on this because essentially what the living ethics is is that I assign you a task, uh, you go out there and you do it. It's really applying course material to your everyday life. And uh, then you just report back. You write a post about what that experience is like and you comment on one of your classmates. And if you do that, uh, you get in on time. You get 25 points per living ethics. There's four of them throughout the semester. You total them up, that would be 100. So everybody should get 100% uh, on this component. And they're kind of fun. They're interesting. Or at least I hope they're fun and interesting. The first one is you're going to act like an egotist. You're going to act like the world revolves around you. You're going to act like you are the most important person in the world. And you're going to do this for a day. And you're going to see what people say. And if they critique you, you're going to say, hey, you can say anything like, hey, I need to put myself first. Or... You know, everybody's opinion is equal, and, you know, I decided it's all about me. And we're going to see if people accept radical egotism. We're going to see if people accept moral relativism. And you'll report back on that. The final exam can either be uh, an oral exam, uh, which will arrange, or the uh, online exam. There is extra credit in this course. The extra credit is... Uh, something that you could do uh, twice a week, um, 
I think I have up there on the, the, the syllabus I sent you once a week, so I'll update that because that was based on the full semester. But you spend 10 to 15 minutes in a period of quiet reflection, cell phones off, um, and you can meditate, you can pray, you can just be sitting there in nature, uh, you can be doing yoga, something like that. Just thinking about, you know, kind of clearing your head, just being present to yourself. Because the reality is that very often in life, We've got so many distractions, so many things going on, so much occurring <clears throat> that we're bogged down by it, we're stressed out by it, and we're beaten down, and we don't have that period to reflect. So you do that period of reflection, you uh, post your experience uh, on the journal uh, section of the course, it's called Reflective Journal, it's right on the NU Learn homepage, and if you do that uh, 10 times throughout the semester, um, you get 100 points. It'd be like getting 100 points in an exam or in a um, um, discussion boards or anything. Uh, it could certainly help you. Um, okay, so next up is the course schedule. Uh, so again, as I've said a couple times throughout this video, the weeks are four-day segments because we are in an abbreviated summer course section. Uh, we are going to be exploring that central question, how much time and energy do I spend on myself? Uh, through different themes. The first theme is egotism. All that matters is you. We're going to start with this idea of people that spend their time on themselves. And sometimes that spend all their time on themselves. The second section uh, is, a, um, is devoted to moral duty. So here it's not so much about you, but about these moral duties that we are all required to follow. And Maybe it benefits you at times, maybe it doesn't, but these are the duties that you should follow. We're going to explore two uh, big primetime uh, key moral theories. They are utilitarianism and natural law. The fourth, excuse me, the third section of the course uh, is complete altruism. And complete altruism uh, is this idea that you are completely devoted to others. You are giving all of your time and energy to others, and we'll see if that is good. You know, most people intuitively think it's good. But we'll look at it, we'll question it, and see what happens. The fourth section of the course is this idea of establishing a balance, uh, a middle point, you know, essentially splitting your time between yourself and others. And then we'll end with this idea of an ethics of openness, where it's not so much about just this complete even split of time or complete devotion to others or complete devotion to yourself, but letting go of our egotism, letting go of our self-absorption, and not completely giving ourselves to others, but seeing what happens when we're not so focused on us. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, other elements of the thesis, or the, excuse me, the syllabus that is worth mentioning, uh, the grading uh, scale uh, is on there, 90 to 100 is an A, uh, 86 to 80, 80 to 86.99999 would be a B, uh, so there's gotta be cut off somewhere, that 0.9 is mine. Um, Lots of help. There's lots of help for you in this course and at Newman University. Uh, there's a library, there's the undergraduate catalog, uh, there is the academic support center, so the ARC. There's a disabilities office, there's a counseling center, there's the advising center. Um, if you are struggling and if you need help, um, I am here to help, but there's also these other uh, support systems. I definitely encourage you to use them. And uh, I encourage you to come to me with any questions that you have. I look forward to a great semester.